West Sumatra, Indonesian, Sumatera Barat, abbreviated to Sumber, Jawi, Suentra Barak Manangkabau, Sumatera Barayak, is a province of Indonesia. It lies on the west coast of the island of Sumatra. The latest official estimate for January 2014 shows a population of 5,098,790. West Sumatra is subdivided into 12 regencies and 7 cities. It has relatively more cities than other provinces in Indonesia, except Java Province. Its capital is Padang. It borders the provinces of North Sumatra Sumatera Utara, to the north, Riau and Jambi to the east, and Bengkulu to the southeast. It includes the Muntawai Islands off the coast. History The history of West Sumatra is related to the history of the Manangkabau people. Archaeological evidence indicates that the area surrounding the Limapula Koto Regency forms the first area inhabited by the Manangkabau. Limapula Koto Regency covers a number of large rivers which meet at the eastern part of the Sumatran coastline and provided sailing transportation until the end of the last century. The Manangkabau ancestors were believed to have arrived via this route. They sailed from Asia, Indochina, via the South China Sea, crossing the Malacca Strait and later settled along the Kampar, Siak and Indragiri, or Kwantan, rivers. Some lived and developed their culture and traits around the Limapula Koto Regency. The first Westerner to reach West Sumatra was the French explorer Jean Parmentier in 1529. However, the Westerners who came for economic and political reasons were the Dutch. The Dutch commercial fleet was seen along the southern coast of West Sumatra between 1595 and 1598. Apart from the Dutch, other European nationalities also came to the region such as the Portuguese and the English. The integration with migrants in the ensuing periods introduced cultural changes and an increase in population. Their settlement area gradually became diminished and eventually they spread to other parts of West Sumatra. A portion of them went to the Agam Regency while others went to the now Tana Dater Regency. From those areas onward, further spread of the population occurred north of the Agam Regency, in particular, the Lubuk Sikaping. Rao and Ophir districts. Most of them settled in the western area such as the coastline and some in the southern parts in Solok, Selayo and the surrounding areas of Muara and Sijunjing. The history of the West Sumatra province became more accessible at the time of the rule by Adityawarman. This ruler left considerable amount of evidence of himself, although he did not proclaim that he was the Manangkabau king. Adityawarman ruled Pagaruyang, a region believed by the Manangkabau to be the center of its culture. Adityawarman was the most important figure in Manangkabau history. Apart from introducing a government system by a ruling monarch, he also contributed significantly to the Manangkabau world. His most important contribution was the spread of Buddhism. This religion had a very strong influence in the Manangkabau life. The evidence of such influence found in West Sumatra today includes names such as Sarwaso, Pariangan, Padang Barhalo, Kandi, Biaro, Sumpur and Silo. Since the death of Adityawarman in the middle of the 17th century the history of West Sumatra seems more complex. During that time, the connection of West Sumatra with the outside world, in particular, Aceh, became more intense. West Sumatra at that time was the political dominion of Aceh which also monopolized the economy of the area. Coupled with the intensive connection Islam entered into West Sumatra. The new faith eventually became fundamental to the social and cultural way of life in the region. Sheikh Burhanuddin was regarded as the first preacher of Islam in West Sumatra. Prior to expanding the faith in the region, he was studying in Aceh. The dominating influence of Aceh's politics and economy did not make the people of western coast of Sumatra happy. Ultimately, the growing dissatisfaction gave way to the acceptance of the Dutch although the presence of them also opened up a new chapter in the history of West Sumatra. The arrival of the Dutch in the region caused them to enter the era of colonialism in the very of essence of its meaning, which caused another discontent in the region, particularly among the Islamists, which eventually led into an armed rebellion against the Dutch. Geography West Sumatra lies in the middle of the western coast of Sumatra, and has an area of 42,130.82 square kilometers. Geographic features include plains, mountainous volcanic highlands formed by the Barisan mountain range that runs from northwest to southeast, and an offshore island archipelago called the Muntawai Islands. 
The West Sumatran coastline faces the Indian Ocean and stretches 375 kilometers from North Sumatra Province in the northwest to Bengkulu in the southeast. The lakes of West Sumatra include Meninju, 99.5 square kilometers, Singkarak, 130.1 square kilometers, Diatas, 31.5 square kilometers, Dabawa, 14.0 square kilometers, Talong, 5.0 square kilometers. The rivers of West Sumatra include Karanji, Ane, Ombilan, Saliki, Agam, Sinamar, Arau. The mountains and volcanoes of West Sumatra include Karansi, 3,805 meters; Marapi, 2,891 meters; Sago, 2,271 meters; Singaling, 2,877 meters; Talakmau, 2,912 meters; Talong, 2,572 meters; Tandakat, 2,438 meters. West Sumatra is one of the earthquake-prone areas in Indonesia, due to its location in the tectonic slab located between the confluence of two major continental plates the Eurasian Plate and Indo-Australian Plate and Great Sumatran Fault, plus the activity of the active volcanoes. Large earthquakes that occurred recently in West Sumatra earthquake were the 2009 Sumatra earthquake and the 2010 Muntawai earthquake and tsunami. Flora and fauna The province includes large areas of dense tropical forest, which is home to a host of species including, Rafflesia arnoldi, world's largest flower, Sumatran tiger, Siamang, Malayan tapir, Sumatran sero, Rusa deer, Malayan sun bear, Bornean clouded leopard, and many birds and butterflies. The province includes two national parks, Sibirut National Park and Karinsi Seblet National Park, as well as a number of nature reserves, Rimbo Panti Nature Reserve, Batang Palapa Nature Reserve, Lemba Ane Nature Reserve, Lemba Haru Nature Reserve, Bung Hata Grand Forest Park, and Baringan Sakti Nature Reserve. Administrative divisions West Sumatra Province is subdivided into 12 regencies and 7 autonomous cities, which lie outside any regency. The regencies and cities are listed below with their areas and their populations at the 2010 census and at the most recent January 2014 estimates. As a new regency, Dharmasraya got the highest score, 59.43, from a possible 100 among other new regencies before the reforms of 1999 and the implementation of regional autonomy in 2001. The lowest local government unit under the district administrations was the Javanese model of the village, the Desa. Under regional autonomy, the traditional Manangkabau Nagari, which are larger than villages elsewhere in Indonesia, have been reintroduced in place of the Desa. Demographics The census population of West Sumatra was 2.8 million in 1971, 3.4 million in 1980, 4.0 million in 1990, 4.25 million in 2000, and 4.85 million in 2010, the latter with 2,404,472 males and 2,442,437 females. In 2014, West Sumatra's population was an estimated 5,098,790 people, of whom 4,486,935 were recorded by the Baden Pusat statistic as Manangkabau people. Batak people, mainly from Mandailing sub ethnic group, and Javanese comprised 4% of the population respectively, while Muntawai people who live in the Muntawai Islands made up 1%. People West Sumatra is the native homeland of Manangkabau people. They speak Manangkabau language and predominantly Muslim. West Sumatran have historically played the important role within the Muslim community in Indonesia. Up until today the region is considered as one of the strongholds of Islam in Indonesia. They have a reputation as traders, intellectuals as well as politically savvy people who have successfully exported their culture, language, cuisine and beliefs throughout Indonesia. Mentawayans live on the Muntawai Islands, off the western coast of Sumatra, that are also part of the native people of province. They speak Muntawai languages, which are not intelligible with either Indonesian nor Manangkabau. Small minority of the Muntawais are Christians nowadays. Urban areas in 2015, about 44.2% of West Sumatran live in urban areas. Most of the urban population of West Sumatra is concentrated in the center-west coast of province and Manangkabau Highlands. West Sumatra has three cities with populations over 100,000. Padang is major metropolitan areas with a population of 1,096 in 2014. 
Manangkabau Highlands cities of Payakumba and Bukatinggi rank as West Sumatra's next most populous cities, with populations of 127,826 and 117,097, respectively. Education Education is highly valued in the Manangkabau culture, therefore West Sumatra was once a center of education on the island of Sumatra, especially in the education of Islam by mosque as the main base place. During the colonial rule Islamic schools of education are so marginalized in comparison with the Dutch East Indies model which is considered more modern. Since Islamic scholars sponsored many village schools, West Sumatra had one of the highest literacy rates in Indonesia. West Sumatra is home to several universities, the most notable of which is Andalas University. It is the oldest university in Indonesia outside Java. Sport West Sumatra is also home of several professional soccer clubs. The most popular of them is Seaman Padang, which regularly plays its matches in Haji Agus Salim Stadium, the biggest stadium in West Sumatra. Tour de Sinkarik, an annual road cycling race since 2009 is an official tournament series of Union Cyclist International UCI. It covers more than 700 kilometers, from Padang passing around Lake Sinkarik and runs through inland West Sumatran cities. This sporting event is also meant to promote West Sumatra tourism. Transport the province is served by Manangkabau International Airport, opened in July 2005, 23 kilometers northwest of Padang and Ketaping, Padang Parayaman Regency. The airport has direct international services to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, as well as servicing most large cities in Indonesia. Significant roads include the Trans-Sumatran Highway which runs the length of the province, heading northwest towards Maidan and southeast towards Jakarta, the road between Padang and Bukatinggi, and the road between Bukatinggi and Pekanbaru. The provincial government plans to upgrade the later two roads over the next few years to improve traffic flows. In January 2012, the Kalak Semel and 970-meter long overpass was ready to be opened to the public and was in the trial stage which will be opened for vehicles in April 2012. Kalak Sembalan means nine sharp turns is an area through which a road with tight bends passes through hilly terrain in the middle of a valley, a nice scenery, but cause congestion. After the overpass opens, the old Kalak Sembalan Road is still open together with the new Kalak Sembalan for tourists. Regular bus services run between Padang and Bukatinggi, and the other major cities of Sumatra. Other public transport options within the province include train, oplet, taxi and horse cart bendi. Telik Bayer Port in Padang is the largest and busiest on the western coast of Sumatra. It is used for exporting goods from West Sumatra as well as from some areas of the neighboring provinces. Railway services run between Padang and Parayaman City on weekends only and make a good day trip. Tourism The prime tourist attractions of West Sumatra are the natural environment, and the culture and history of the Manangkabau and Muntawai people. Natural attractions of the mainland include the tropical forests, mountains, volcanoes, lakes, valleys, rivers and waterfalls in the highlands, the fauna and flora, and the beaches around Padang. Many areas are protected as part of national parks and reserves. The city of Bukatinggi is a popular central location in the highlands from which to explore the culture and history of the Manangkabau people, including architecture, crafts, dances, music and food. There are a number of museums and cultural centers. Parayaman has one of the famous festivals, Tabuak. The Muntawai Islands are a popular destination for surfers and those looking to experience the culture and more primitive lifestyle of the Muntawai people. For developing West Sumatra tourism, in 2006 the government opened tourist train railway service run between Padang, Padang Panjang, Sawalunto. The Tour de Sinkarik International Cycling Race had boosted the number of the foreign tourists to West Sumatra. The majority of the foreign tourists are Malaysians and Australian. The favorite tourism places are, Jam Gadang, the clock tower in the downtown of Bukatinggi Panorama, viewing to Sianic Valley Air Mana Beach, the beach that stretch from the north to south of Padang Coastal Padang Mountain Caroline Beach Pagarying Palace in Batasankar Harau Valley Lake Meninju Lake Sinkarik Lake Diatas and Lake Dabawa Sikui Island There are 25 islands at Pesisir Selatan Regency potential to be tourist sites. 
Kubadok Island 9 hectares, Pagong Island 12 hectares, and Pulau Penyu Turtle Island have been developed well. At the northern part will be developed Samanki Besar Island, Samanki Kessel Island, Merak Island, Setan Tarusan Island, and Karao Island. At the southern part will be developed Karabak Ketak Island, Karabak Gadang Island, and Kosong Island. The traditional dance is Tari Piring, or plate dance, which is originally came from Solak, West Sumatra. Gallery C also list of people from West Sumatra Manangkabau people Manangkabau language Manangkabau business people references statistics Indonesia 2000 population statistics archived from the original on October 28 2005 retrieved December 26 2005 external links government website in Indonesian